Leprechaun, and welcome back to Delta. And now this is probably going to be a really fast episode because, and I might even end up tagging it on to last episode, depending on how long it takes. But um, we're about to finish Delta Rune. Uh, we got back to the normal world with Susie. I cried because as uh, not as real. Uh, Ralse is absolutely freaking adorable. Let's go into the lie, Barbie. Oh. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, as I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant, if you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. I have $2. Fuck you. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Don't talk to me. Better go to Carleg, so Tem Stubby. Hard! She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Yeet. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Yeah, that'd be great if you get the fuck out of my way. That must be locked. Nothing. Teen's own. <laughs> he just looks like a dick. I hate him. Uh, hi, Undyne! Undyne! Talk to me! Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking the traffic. Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. I just wish someone would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Alfie's. Alfie's? Who's Alfie's? No idea who you're talking about. Are you joking? Why? Did they do something illegal? Well, no. Gotcha. If I see Alfie's, I'll t I mean... Alright, school's that way. So what's down there? Oh, hello. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here and on a school day. There must be a reason for you to come here at such a time. I, Father- Oh, that's a dude. Uh, I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit justice. Oh, fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, even or even participate to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> Listen, men. Fruit. Juice. Town hall. Oh. Hey, short stuff. Would you possibly need- Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candy? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Except Aunt Undyne won't talk to me. She just wants to tackle Alfie's witch. Yeet. Hello, Fingers. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. I can cause a crisis. I'm wearing the same colour jumper as Kara. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard as a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. Down we go. What's down here? The fuck? Why is it going quiet? What's down here? Huh? It's locked. Ooh. Okay then. Disappointing. But go off, I guess. What's this way? A graveyard? Oh. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. The guy who wrote the human history book. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Uh. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Shiren? Is Shiren dead? Oh god. That's depressing. Uh, nothing down there. 
Okay, so we've gone there. Hospital. Hello. Oh, it's you. Are well, you here to play the piano again? If the patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Yikes. Jesus Christ. No. It's one of those sliding bead toys that's naturally spawns in doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. Yikes. Can I go in? Ooh. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Dad, you can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noel, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. I regret walking in. I regret every decision I've ever made. Really? Yeah, and she slapped me so hard I blacked out. Oh god, Noel. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? You beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the house palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel, maybe... maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Oh my god, that would have... That was gonna be really depressing. Ha ha ha. Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Nerdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window, I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Are you not even gonna question that or was just listening to your private conversation with your dad? Patient name, Rudolph, Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? Well, jingle my gosh darn bells, look at- <laughs> Christmas came early. Alright, Chris, just give me a straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago, you were just a creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You wanna chat or something? She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer and hat she is a deer. <laughs> I remember when she even used to be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye on her, okay? I will. I am a good child. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. Oh, yikes. He looks inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano. <laughs> Can I play it? No. Oh, God. Why is there two sinks? It's a regular sink. What's the other one, then? It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both. No, that's not how sinks work, but... <laughs> how am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. You're creepy. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. No offense, Undyne. You're pretty useless. I like what you've done with your hair, though. Police. You knocked on the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. <laughs> they just closed the blinds. No one's in. Please wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mood. Alright, that's the way we came. Up here. Close. Sans! Hello. Sans. 
Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Good to see you again. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. My name's San. San's a skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Well, I got anyone I should know better? My mum. <laughs> yes! Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. She's great. She came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? <laughs> Harsh but fair. <laughs> uh, store. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. Sons, you're the one that runs it. No! Leave! Oh, you've got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll just be standing here doing nothing. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Oh, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably be hesitate, hesitate more. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. Oh, God. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. You're welcome. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But the distant trestle <laughs> of <laughs> the distant trestle of bones. What the fuck? Papyrus, stop playing your music in there. You can hear it from all the way out here. No, I'm not. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told you about you. Does it have to be made of? Bl yes. Oh my god, I didn't even notice the rabbit up there. What a cute little boy. Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. It's the zoo! Are you a mom? Are you his- their mom? Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. <laughs> oh no, it's- I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me and Snowy and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> She's actually a really good person. Don't you dare diss my friend. I don't care how many arms you haven't got. Woo, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alfie's. Not fair. I got to miss all my classes. Like, I didn't go to anything that day. Um, uh, I mean... That's actually not even remotely funny. What's down here? Um, Alfie's. <laughs> oh, Chris! Chris, you're okay! I- I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, well don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. What are you doing here? Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing in school, then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, um, he always gives me flowers. He makes me wonder if he, if he likes. If he likes. He has some comics that I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. I did not ask for your feelings on my dad. C Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow, um, my homemade DVD collection of The Symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. <laughs> it's the funniest, most quotable show ever, but make sure you don't watch past the second season. Since they just reboot- what? <laughs> Alfie's! Stop! No. Changed my mind. Uh, okay. So we've spoken to Sansy. Let's go this way. Dinah. Oh, Caddy is working. Hello. Hanlo. 
You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Okay. Uh, we'll take this special and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't need anything if it doesn't look like treasure. I think you need to get your youngest looked at. Hi! Hey there. Haven't seen you in a while, huh? I remember back on Sundays after service. You and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened and then... Y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. And you two'd sit down at the table in the corner. Drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him. Huh. Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, hun. Thanks. Looking at my rubber body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. I didn't ask. So for you two girls, I'll be the crepes, a uh, cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the eye. <laughs> Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf like ice to be drink. Right. Hand low. Ice me up. Ice me up, boss. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside. <laughs> Do you mean this? Oh, God. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 Pez? Pets are flavors. We've got normal, cheese, ice, crepe, ew, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop down at Icy's Pizza. Just gonna tell you a secret. <laughs> the logo made me think it was an ice cream shop, but I ended up really loving my job and my co workers too. Hee <laughs> hee. You know, you'd think. Okay. Oh god, some. Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Oh, it's the burger dude. Hey, little buddy, it's me. I want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind. You know, it's my brother. Do you know when Azzy's coming up? Y you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. Are you gay for my brother? It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times pick it up for example chicks dude you don't have to be so aggressively heterosexual it's okay i get it which as a matter of course may not have actually happened but one time undy made eye contact with me while she was wearing me a speeding ticket <laughs> hey little buddy what's up co-workers uh yes little buddy good idea meet the rogues gallery blue ears soft serve obsessed no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me when giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related industry. He's constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy. Man, that guy. You gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, uh, my co-workers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. Much happier place. Was that a FNAF reference? Because I swear to God, no. And job. Make hey, no mistake, little buddy. I see pizza as hell. I can't suck up for seconds without hearing. Be a team player. There's no I in Pezza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. And it's okay, little buddy. I'm saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree and become a famous actor. And let the band girls roll in, little buddy. Are you gay for my brother? Because I 100% support that. I just want you to be honest, pizza dude. Bye. Ew. There's some kind of scratch. Ew. Uh. Let's go all the way that way and make our way back. <gasps> They're in played. Isn't better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. Date, y'all are cute. Oh. Hmm. 
What is that even for? Okay, moving on. Mm, so it's a smile picnic table, cigarettes. Keep fingers. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cotton. Ugh! Still nothing. Okay, bye. <clears throat> it's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Flower King. Dad? Father? Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? <laughs> this is familiar. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. You're, you're watering the floor, Dad. Here we are. <coughs> Howdy. How can I? He looks different without his crown. Oh, Chris. Oh, Dad put me down. I can't breathe. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you like hugs. You don't. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. I want the- it's a flower. I want that one. Oh, they're like the souls. It's a purple flower. Protect in its container. It's blue flower. Cyan. Golden. Good! Where you belong, you little bastard! It's yellow flower. Green. My favourite is an orange flower. Where is your fridge? Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. <clears throat> is it the same? Yeah. Open the fridge. All that's inside is a jar with a single decide to pass okay small TV on top of some superhero comics don't you decide not to look what's out here it's a door it's locked great thanks dad so to watch can it's a note it says no rent received again stop giving we have one month dad are you okay Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Dad, are you okay? It's small TV. Oh, right. He's not paying his rent! Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azriel comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Then we could all have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but... And we could all have a nice- yeah. Okay. Oh. I was just right in front of you! Why did you not tell me before? Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. <laughs> <coughs> oh god. Have a great day, Chris. Blue key, blue key, blue key. Knock, knock, knock. <sighs> I'm afraid no one's home right now. Oh, Metaton! Oh, shit! Hey. Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Mm <clears throat> neighbor. Neighbor. Eh. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear I was it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet girl for like your whole body. Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with those big kids? It was like, yeah, of course, just get some burgers. 
then like amazingly you actually got them so i told you you could go back and get some french fries too then a dozen miniature cakes and they were so good i ate like six then i like suddenly got so man so like anyway chris how are you busy yes i've changed my mind i don't want to talk to you anymore you only have one arm hey neighbor baby <laughs> when's your brother doug my dad my brother's name is uncle doug my girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. Doesn't like my wife's cuffling. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? My name is Chris. My brother's name is Azriel. Don't talk to me. Little Chrissy, like, oh, what's up? Give Auntie Caddy a hug. No. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Don't you mean? <laughs> don't you mean? Nya, nya, nya. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? No. Actually, like anything though, your choice. What do you want about my brother? Oh my god, Azriel, like what a cutie pie. Do you remember when he, me and him went to the dance? And that was like the best night ever, even though I spilled an entire punch bowl all over him. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. I got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I say hi. No. No, I changed my mind. I don't want to talk to you. Yes, I do. No. Leave me alone. Oh, hey, Noelle. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time. So, um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I've got my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris, I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Ah, uh, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? Ah, it's so loud! <laughs> no, someone just sent me a message saying Kingdom Hearts 3 is like, you think you know the plot? Think again. And I'm like, true. <laughs> that game stresses me out. Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. I think I said anything. Bye. You're cute, though. Here we are. Home again. Have I been recording for 27 minutes? Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. Did I really fill 27 minutes? Okay, we're nearly done. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. Oh my god. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake. But do not eat all, all this. Don't eat it all this time, all right? Mom. Chris, what is it, honey? Flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. The trash. I want to talk about my brother. Remember that video game you and Asriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved that green lizard from that. He even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decorations. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Green eggs and ham? Pie. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Let's go. Are we going for a nap? We are going for a nap. The door is locked. Oh shit, that's mum's room. Sorry. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Sure, I've talked to everyone. Let's go to bed! I can't believe that filled almost half an hour. <laughs> I'm shook. Hello? You okay, Chris? Oh, oh, um, oh god. You just. Are, are you okay? Okay, no, that's not me. I'm not, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> what is it? Chris? Yeah, uh-huh. Oh! 
Oh my god! What the fuck? Can I move it? Oh my god, I can move it. What the fuck, Chris? What the fuck? What's go- I don't- What? Why do you have a knife? What the fuck? You're just gonna leave it there? What? What the fuck? Chris tore out their soul? Chapter one. What the fuck? There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold. I knew it was Laura Shigihara. I can recognize her voice from listening to. She did the um, ending for. Uh, not a bad story. Don't forget. What is it? I'm with you in the dark. Finding paradise. I did be continued in chapter two when's chapter two coming out what the fuck was that what the fuck i don't oh god okay uh can we open that again please what the fuck uh okay yep yeah. This is different. Oh my god. Okay. I'm intrigued. You have my attention. I want to know what the fuck's going on. Um. Yeah. Shit. Um. I'm legitimately speechless at that. No. Sorry, it's from Underdale. Oh. I'm, I'm genuinely speechless at that. I don't... How... What? Why did Chris tear out their soul? God, I need chapter two to come out soon. This music's making me sad. <laughs> Um I can't remember the last time a game left a game ending left me the speechless. I'm I'm legitimately shook. Um but yeah, I don't know what we're going to play next since chapter 2 isn't out. I don't think. I'll have to look into that actually. Uh yeah, that's that's Delta Rune. An ama amazing game. I can't. I can't wait for it to continue. Honestly, I'm genuinely so excited for that. It's gonna be great. Um. So I'll see you next week for maybe Dream Talia if I'm still playing that. Probably am. It's a much longer game than this. And so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, perhaps give it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah. Bye bye.